This should be an easy question to answer, and many of the deck plans drawn up and viewable online would seem to settle it. But there is evidence that it is not so simple and straightforward. In this video then, we will look at why the accepted wisdom on this subject might be wrong. The Enterprise flies across our screens from left to right. We seldom get to see the port side of the ship, mostly because the wires for the model's lights enter the hull on the port side. In many countries and cultures, we write from left to right, and we read from left to right. As a result, we more easily associate the left with the past and the right with the future. By having the Enterprise fly from left to right, the program makers are associating their starship with movement towards the future. Added to this were the various establishing shots of key interiors. The television cameras sat on the starboard bow of the bridge, with Captain Kirk and the helm facing the right-hand side of the screen, the front. The hangar deck was seen with the camera facing aft when shuttles arrived or departed. And then, once a shuttle had landed and been turned on its turntable, the camera viewed the hangar deck through a starboard doorway. Of course, there is an argument for the location of this doorway to be cut into the forward bulkhead, rather than it being to starboard. But as Journey to Babel puts a blank wall behind the shuttlecraft, instead of the clamshell doors, we may say the doorway is to starboard. This left-right rule breaks down when we look at main engineering. As it is presented here, the television cameras sit on the port side, facing starboard, or in the entrance foyer facing aft. This foyer position echoes the view aft that we get for the hangar deck, but the port side position creates a problem. It's all rather French New Wave. It has been pointed out by some, including no less a person than Captain Robert April, that the main engineering we see here may be facing the wrong direction. This supposition is backed by the visual evidence presented in the original series episode, Day of the Dove, as we will see shortly. Yet, in the episode, The Paradise Syndrome, Mr. Scott faces what, for the sake of argument, we may call the proto-warp core, and as it sparks and explodes, he cries, my burns referring to the engines. This makes sense if main engineering faces aft, towards the warp nacelles. But if the proto-warp core is part of a larger complex of engineering machinery, then perhaps we can accept that Mr. Scott is facing forward, in the general direction of, say, the navigational deflector. He is looking at part of his precious engines, the beating heart of the Enterprise, rather than the engines as a whole. In Day of the Dove, the characters watch the Beta 12A entity as it leaves through a bulkhead in main engineering. The characters face the port bow, but when we see their POV, somewhat confusingly, we see the starboard bulkhead with its ladder and walkway. This is clearly a theatrical and budgetary choice. The director wanted the facial reactions of the actors, so they faced the cameras on the port bow of the set. But to save on the production budget, he then filmed the starboard side of the set for his POV shots. In doing so, though, he implied that main engineering is more symmetrical than we think. This is all very well, and if main engineering faces aft, as we have it here, then the Beta 12A entity would emerge from the port side of the secondary hull. But it does not. It emerges from the starboard side, moving aft. This could only happen if main engineering is facing forward, rather than aft. In order to make this work, we have to turn main engineering 180 degrees. Not only that, but based on the episode, we must move main engineering further forward, away from both the warp engine pylons 
and the hangar deck. As this is a similar location to that of main engineering in Star Trek The Motion Picture and Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, it might not be so unrealistic. The orientation of main engineering should follow the rule set by the Enterprise model, the bridge, and, for the most part, the hangar deck. Our viewing angle should be from the starboard side. The visual evidence from Day of the Dove supports this supposition. Yet, it is difficult to let go of the idea that the proto warp core is situated at the back of the engineering set, with the entrance foyer at the front. It makes sense for the warp core to be closer to the bases of the warp engine pylons. There is an issue with this idea though, and that is the problem posed by the proximity of the hangar deck. There is not much internal hull space for both the proto warp core and the forward area of the hangar deck. By reorientating main engineering and moving it forward, this problem is partly resolved. But of course, this problem depends on the true size of the hangar deck, and that is the subject of another video.